Welcome to HD Supplies Facility Maintenance How-To Videos. I'm Lee Stevens. Before performing any maintenance or repair, always wear your personal protective equipment, follow lockout tagout procedures, and are you using a chemical, follow the safety data sheets. Always consult the manufacturer's warranty to keep from voiding it. Now, let's get started. This video is going to cover troubleshooting if your evaporator coil is freezing up. The first thing you would want to do is check for your airflow. Is your evaporator fan running or is it not? If when you open the door, the evaporator fan is running, that means it's in cooling mode. To change it from cooling mode to defrost mode, there's one of two ways. If it is adaptive defrost control board, you would open the refrigerator door, push the button three times, shut the door within five seconds, and that will reverse the mode from defrost to cooling or cooling to defrost. If it is a manual defrost control timer, you would take the timer, put a screwdriver in the bottom, and turn it until you hear a large click. At that click, it would change it from either defrost to cooling or cooling to defrost. Now that you've checked that part, and if it is working, then you would proceed to the next part. The next part is going to be your defrost element. You would test your defrost element by testing from one pin to the far side pin, and that should read approximately 33 ohms of resistance. If that part is reading correctly, the next, the last part you would check is your defrost thermostat. You would check that by checking from your blue connector to the light blue pin on your connector over here. At room temperature, it should read OL or open loop because at, at room temperature, that is gonna be open. The only way to test this if it is working when it closes is to put in another freezer that works to drop the temperature to approximately 30 degrees to get that contactor to close. Now you've tested the complete defrost cycle. One of those parts is going to be your issue of why it is frosting up. So then you would replace the appropriate part and you have solved your issue. Thank you for watching HC Supply Facility Maintenance How-To Videos. Always remember, lock out, tag out. Lee Stevens, out.